This next trick is called the amazing colour prediction. Some people don't know, but you can actually feel colours. It's a weird phenomenon, most people don't know about it, but I'd like to show it you today. For this trick though, I'm going to need someone to help me with the effect. I'm going to ask my wonderful assistant to go here, Anna. Anna, uh, I've got some cranes and I've got some pencil cranes. Would you care to choose the crane or the pencil cranes? I don't mind. Cranes. The cranes, wonderful. I'm going to turn around, and what I'd like you to do is take one of those cranes and place it in my hand behind my back. I'm going to close my eyes just so that I can't see anything. I'm going to try and feel that crane and feel what colour you've given me. Okay? Do you understand? Yeah. Great. I'm going to close my eyes. Will you take one of those cranes and place it into my hand? Okay. Now, I'm trying to feel what the colour is. I've got a good idea. You can take the crane back. Take the, take the, put the crane on the table so I can't see it. Okay. okay. So now, is it back on the table? Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to try and work out what colour you gave me. And um, from the way it felt, it, I think you gave me the colour yellow. Was it the yellow crane? Yeah. Wonderful. We'll try it one more time, but this time we're going to try it with the pencil cranes, if I may. Okay. I'll place the cranes to one side. Again, we've got a selection of colours here. Brown, yellow, green, blue, black and red. Would you please place any of one of those uh, pencil cranes into my hand? Okay, now I'm going to try and work out what colour this is. I'm feeling it a tiny bit. Uh, okay, take it back off me. Place it down again. Is it down so I can't see anything? Yep. Okay, now... It's a weird phenomenon, but I think I felt the colour red. Was it the red one? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you very much for joining us. You can go sit that down. Okay, this next trick is colour predictions. There's two different methods I utilised for the pencil cranes and one for the cranes. And we're going to look at some of those methods right now. Now the first one, we'll look at was the crane. Uh, the crane utilises a technique where you're going to use your fingernail. Now the fingernail is helpful for the effect. For instance, say they gave me the green crane. They put the green crane into my hand, and while it's in my hand, what I'm going to secretly do is stab my fingernail into the crane. What it does is, if you can see that carefully, there's a piece of green crane inside of my fingernail. Now I can, the crane goes back onto the table, and so I have no idea what colour they gave me. But when I then open my eyes and turn around, I look at my fingernail and see that they gave me the green one, because the edges of it are my, are my fingernail. I pretend then I'm going to concentrate, I'm going to feel for the, what colour they gave me and think about it. But what I'm really doing is looking at my thumbnail. Because I don't want to do this and look at it and, oh yeah, it's the green one, because that's a bit too obvious. So what I'm going to do is pretend to use my psychic powers, but by doing this, I can look at my thumbnail in secret so that nobody can see me doing it. It's a little bit different for the pencil cranes, because the pencil cranes don't have anything to stab your uh, fingernail in. But your fingernail can still be used for this trick. For instance, they put a crane into your hand, you, and instead of actually stabbing your fingernail into it, you're going to take that uh, pencil crane and draw on the back of your fingernail. Now, this is, let me get a dark one so that you can see it in the camera. But I normally just do this one handed, and I could draw on the back of it. And if you can see the back of my fingernail now, there's a bit of red on there and a bit of black on there you can see the pencil crane drawing on my fingernail. You can then do the exact same trick by looking at your fingernail, such as this. Now, you rub this one up. I'm just going to wipe this one off and do it one more time, say with the blue one. So say, if it's on the blue pencil crane, it's going to go into my hand, behind my back. I take it and I draw on my fingernail, such as this. I'm doing it one-handed. You don't have to. You could actually put both hands behind your back, and then you can just get a lot of control and then the pencil crane goes back down, and then I can come back up, and I can perfectly see that I've drawn blue on my fingernail, and so the colour they gave me was blue. So with this trick, you can perform some amazing mental magic, and you can tell by just by the feel what colour a pencil or crane is. It's a great little mental effect that really fools a lot of people. I hope you enjoy it, and remember to practice this trick before you go and perform it. Thanks for watching.